happy Tuesday. So I posted earlier today on um, my group page to see if you guys were interested in either foundation, bronzer, and blush uh, demo or the shadow sense colors demo um, or skincare. Um, these are three different areas of um, Cinegen's products that they offer outside of LipSense. LipSense is their most popular um, and something that I started with, but as I have uh, become a distributor, I've started playing around with some of the other products, and I absolutely love everything about um, almost everything I've tried so far. I haven't found anything I don't like. Um, so I decided to try um, and demo the Shadow Sense colors tonight. Um, the great thing about Shadow Sense is some of the similar things that I love about Lip Sense in that it is smudge proof um, and it's also long wear and uh, easily blends and it comes in a little tube which I think they're going to be switching out for a tube like this. Um, but they come, uh, and they won't crease, and then they're also long wear, so they'll last almost all day, um, without coming off. I've been wearing, um, Shadow Sense since I started, and I love it, because I used to always get the crease right here, and I'd have issues with me touching my face or rubbing it part way through the day, and it coming off. The other great thing about it is you can use the black, um, Onyx color, for eyeliner so you can get that really nice uh, you know bold eyeliner look without uh, worrying about it smudging or bleeding or having issues throughout the day so I'm gonna try and demo that for you tonight and show you a quick look um, on one of my eyes I'm gonna start with colors the three colors I have are for brown eyes um, so they're going to be more in those warm uh, tones, and I'm going to do uh, what I do every day. Um, I don't do anything fancy, but it's kind of a play on a smoky eye. Um, so the first color I'm going to start with is called Candlelight. Let's see if you can see it. It's a kind of a um, yellow, I don't know, warm cream color is the best way to explain it. Uh, kind of like the warm glow from a candlelight. This is a shimmer color. Um, Shadow Sense comes in either um, a matte or shimmer finish. So I'm just going to clean off the brush. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. And I'm going to start by putting it on the brow line. And then I like to go ahead and put a little bit in the corner of my eye and use that as a base and a lightener. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend this one in. So um, it's kinda hard to tell because of my lighting, but you can see you get a nice shimmer uh, look from it and it highlights that brow bone. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my all over color. So for my all over color, I'm using uh, Mocha Java Shimmer. Mocha Java Shimmer is a, I kind of like to think of it as like a latte color. It's a kind of a warm, subtle brown. A very pretty neutral color. A little bit on the cooler tone side. A little bit of a, I would say like gray tone to it. Um, and this color I'm going to use all over the lid. And you just dab some on. It's very easy. And I'm actually going to use a brush. I like to use fluffy um, angled brushes. Uh, again, this is my quick daily look, so I don't want anything too fancy. I don't want to have to use five different brushes just to get the look that I want to go for. I think I'm going to use a little bit more, just so you can see it. And I'm just kind of blotting it in. Now, these are cream to powder, so they do go on like a wet cream and then kind of dry into a powder. Um, I do find it's um, very forgiving, so if you mess up, you can easily get rid of it um, without having to take the whole thing off because once it kind of settles in, it is smudge proof. Okay, so that's the all over color, so you can kind of see I've got my highlighted brow and my all over mocha, uh, mocha java. 
The third color, I like to do this kind of corner out. I like to do um, with a darker color. So this I'm going to use Garnet. Garnet is like an espresso color. I don't know why it's called Garnet. <laughs> I always thought that's funny. But it's like an espresso brown, um, like brownie or chocolate morsel color. Um, and a little goes a long way with this also. And actually what I do for this color, because it's dark, is I only put one dot in the crease. Or I'll sometimes even use my brush on the um, applicator itself and kind of just dab it so that I get some on my brush. You can also use a palette. Um, so if you're worried about getting too much color, you can take something and dab. Um, I sometimes use the back of my hand and then wash my hand, so it's up to you. Um, but just to make sure that there's not too much color on the brush, you don't get too dark. And then I like to go, starting from the lash corner, and I like to go up and just blend over. So you can get, see you get a really nice kind of a smoky eye look. And then I just go back and forth across. Super easy like that. And that gives you a nice smoky eye. But it is good for daytime. And then sometimes if you need a little bit more of a look, you can also uh, go back and add a little bit of java. So I'm going to do that now. Mix on my plate. And just kind of blend in a little bit more. So you can see I have the darker corner going to the lighter mocha, so you can compare to no color to the eye that has the shadow on it and what it looks like. And then one other trick is to go back with your shadow, uh, your light candlelight color, and just do a little bit right here on the middle of the lid. And this just gives you a little bit of a highlight. And kind of helps brighten the eye below. Okay, so it's that easy as you can see. And then lastly, the liner. Now, the liner was a little bit tricky um, because you have to be used to putting liner on with a brush. So I use a very short angle brush that has a flat kind of tip, it's very hard bristled. Um, so that it, it holds and holds its shape as you put it on. And then like I did with the color before, I just take and I dab my brush into the color and make sure that I get enough on the end. And I'm going to use my mirror here because this can go awry. <laughs> what you want to do is not pull too much on your eyelid because that will stretch it, but you want to kind of close and get the skin taut. And you want to start about where your pupil is in your eye, just above the lash line, and you want to go in a smooth motion across and kind of up at the end into where you can see where your natural groove is. So like if I pull that natural groove of your eye, that's where you want your lash uh, line to end um, for if you want like a wing-tipped look or a more bold um, eyeliner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in the mirror. Now because you're using a brush, you can do short motions like this and pull the color across that way. Or you can do one solid motion right along the lash line. It's up to you, um, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then after I've done the bolder part of the eye, I like to go back and do the inner part uh, and kind of get it more of a blended look so it's not as bold. So you can kind of see um, how that went across. And it's very subtle. It's not too overwhelming. But you can see how it defines the lash area and gives you a more finished and more bold look. This is what I normally wear uh, to work in the morning. So I try to make it really quick and easy 
to do um, before I go to work. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is put on a coat of waterproof mascara. This is just black, plain mascara. It's none of the fancy stuff that has all the lengthening crap in it. Uh, that ends up really messing with my eyes during the day, so I try to avoid that. Um, and also, I notice I get the little black flakes underneath my eye, which I can't stand. So, um, I have started using the um, Lash Sense. Um, waterproof mascara and I love it. It goes on and your eyelashes are still really smooth um, but yet it's waterproof and resistant and you don't have to worry about it. So for the beach time coming up and you want to still have that really defined lash look but you don't want to fiddle with it, um, this is definitely a really great product so far. I like it a lot. This is what the brush looks like. Just a typical brush. It is tapered at the end which is helpful because I have these really small uh, lashes on the end, um, so it's helpful to get those little guys. I'm going to do this over here. And of course, you guys know how to apply mascara, but start at the base, pull forward. And then I always like to turn the applicator around, which is the tough part, but use the small end on the outer corner of your eye to pull the lashes out that way. Which I should have taken my makeup off <laughs> this morning, but you get the idea. Okay, and you can see there's the finished eye. So you can see the difference between no makeup and shadow scents and then the great test of it all is I can rub and it doesn't come off so uh, it's really cool um, because you don't have to worry about um, you know going through the day and having your makeup go everywhere um, or even with the crease you know you get the makeup kind of build up in the crease you don't have to worry about that because it does have a smudge proof uh, look to it um, or uh, quality um, I do have Mocha Java and Black Onyx in stock, as well as the um, mascara, if any of you guys are interested. Uh, they're currently in the process of changing out the tubes to be, like I said, different. It'll be in a little tube like this. This is actually the bronzer um, with a tip. So you will need to use like a brush and a palette to um, use the shadow sense in the future. And then this is blush, so you guys can have an idea of what it looks like. It's kind of a pouty pink, pale pink color. Um, but you guys, um, I do have these in stock now, so if you're wanting to try it and give it a try, um, the shadow senses are only 22, and the mascara is 25. Uh, a little goes a long way, so <laughs> these are going to last a really long time to go through this tube. You're literally using like dots of it at a time, um, so it is a really great value. Um, if you have any questions about... Um, makeup or how to apply or how to use the products, uh, you can comment and let me know. I'd be happy to answer. Um, that's all for today. I uh, thank you guys for joining me and you have a nice night. Bye.